answer. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be The world awaits to receive you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Y'all know I y'all know I will be acting up. I'm gonna be acting up tonight. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to Uncensored Enlightenment Talk. And you're here with your host, Grace Levi, today. And today we have a host of topics to go over on today's Sunday Hot Topics. Every Sunday, we're going to be coming to you with hot topics. There's always so much going on, so we're going to be picking up slew of them. Tonight may be a long night. We're going to start off by saying, I got my yellow on. Shout out to the beehive. It's like, no, I'm just playing. I know I ain't got no behavior. I'm just saying, all we do is just release information for information and educational purposes only here. So whatever we he- release here, don't take offense, okay? It got a little a satire to it, and then it got a little truth. And that's the way we learn how to beat the algorithm around here. Because, uh, yeah, you know we're uncensored, allegedly. So tonight, I want to first start off by talking about my makeup. I have none on. Today makeup is MAC. I don't know what color this is. And lip gloss. Stay natural, guys. Stay natural. All right. Y'all know I got no behavior. Here we go. We're about to start off with an update from what we talked about last week. And last week, we actually talked about the teacher who was attacked by her student. Now, let me see something. I'm going to try to put the whole screen up to make sure that I ain't got no issues tonight. But what we are going to say that it is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. What happened to this teacher? We watched a horrific video, which really made me feel away because that little girl needed her butt whooped. So we're going to read some of the comments from Breaking News. But before we do that, we're going to go into the article. So the teacher was hospitalized at the brutal attack by high school student captured on video. Look at this lady with her Alpha Chi Phi Alpha sweater on. Y'all know I, 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 I. Y'all know how I am. Um, since uh, <laughs> January 26th attack, Tawana Turner have been unable to walk and is expected to undergo extensive rehab for her injuries. That's ridiculous. A high school student in Georgia, I didn't even know that was Georgia, was arrested after an attack captured on a now viral video sent a longtime teacher to the hospital with serious leg injuries. Mm, The student who isn't being named due to her age has been charged with aggravated battery in connection with the January 26th incident at Heritage High School in Conyers, an Atlanta suburb, a public information officer with the Rockland County uh, Office tells people. The nearly one minute long clip, which had generated more than 12.7 million views on Twitter as of February the 2nd, shows the student yelling explicitly at the teacher before shutting the door in her face, trying to, trying to shut the door, like a little little kid having a temper tantrum. The argument moves into the hallway where the English language arts teacher later identified on the GoFundMe as Tawana Turner arrived, uh, Rise her arm to prevent the student from becoming physical, but the student quickly punched her in the face. The student then dragged Turner down to the ground by her hair, where she continued to punch her while several bystanders tried to stop the attack in the second video of the violent incident shows. 
Since the incident, Turner has been hospitalized and is currently unable to walk after friend Jean Cannon wrote the GoFundMe. She will not be returning to work anytime soon, and she will require extensive rehab and therapy and fundraiser. So I'm going to send love and blessing to Miss Tawana Turner because that is another dangerous ass career to be a, a teacher these days baby you better make sure you had a blood of jesus on your side because what we know these kids are capable of are far and beyond what we used to expect our kids to do back in the day we had our kids or let me see me because i'm going to say in the 80s I, I wasn't i was born in the 80s but we were more like teenagers, young young kids in the 90s, early 90s, late 90s. There wasn't the damn time that we're going to be picking up our hands, fighting on an adult. I can remember my mother literally say, come on, come on, fight me. Because she want to, you know, whatever, because I want to go run the streets and do whatever I want to do. And I'm like, man, old lady, you better get out of my face. I end up running out the house like, oh, she crazy and go about my business. We have more regards for our adults. We have more regards for our seniors. And this is something that's totally, totally bothering me because these are the people who have to take care of us. You have to think about that. These are going to be the people that have to take care of us. So if they don't have no regards for us in settings like this, where they need us as educators or need us for whatever uh, she, well, she perceived she didn't need this teacher because this late, this little girl knew it all. This is really, really, really a scary situation to think about. Parents, whoever parents that little girl belonged to, or whoever that little girl belonged to, need to really get their hands too. So let's read just some of these comments. Toxic household is most likely right. Kids have who have no discipline at home, not taught to respect authorities, go crazy when corrected. Bring back the Bible and the belt. Yes. Uh, that was a that was the comment of the day. Bring back the Bible and the belt, baby. I hope she gets expelled, suspended, in a lot of jail time. This is a sad story. It should have never occurred. Imagine going to work, getting attacked by a juvenile. I'm sure teachers are scared of students these days. At my high school, we have security in every hallway. They want to protect the students. Seem, seem to me, the educators need the most protection. And I, I agree. Okay? Unnecessary. Would you like to learn a brand new and innovative way to invest your extra money that has a low barrier to entry and low competition? What if I told you that it is a guaranteed method to get up to 18 to 20% return on your investment? Tax lien and deed purchasing is the only way to get into the real estate market through the back door. No credit and no loans needed. This method isn't commonly taught and therefore the competition is very low for now. We put together a 14 hour info packed course which will teach you everything you'll need to know to get started. Learn at your own pace, step by step, guided video and aids to start you on the TLC deed investment process. The course offers many learning tools for new investors, helping ensure you safely invest in tax liens and deeds. Contact us today and join the buyback team.